What is going on, my and welcome back to a brand new video from me. And this one's going to be a little bit of a different one. I see a lot of people showing tactics off, showing how they work, why they work. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you with various clubs how to create tactics. I'm going to go through everything that I do in my mind and put it into a video to see how I build this tactic. First off, we're starting with AC Milan. How to build a tactic for AC Milan. Let's get straight into the video. As you can see here, we're on the first day. We've been appointed as the manager of AC Milan and we're going to assess the team and try and build a tactic. I think, feel like a lot of people just show you the results and what the tactic looks like. They didn't actually show you the building process of it. So what we're going to try and do with this kind of series is you in the comments throw different clubs at me and I'll go and try and create a tactic that will hopefully achieve above what the board is expecting for them. So let's get straight into it. We're going to click on next here. Skip all the way through this. As you can see there, they have recommended a 4-2 Two, three, one, with two holding midfielders because you do have Berica and you also have Tenali there, two phenomenal players. But we're going to get into that in just a second. We've got to the page where it shows you all the players right now. So I can see every single player, every position that they play in. And also I can see the best role that they play in. Don't really specifically need to put the best plays in the best roles. They can still play in any role as long as you're in that position. For example, a ball playing defender can still play as just a normal center off or a no nonsense center off, or they could play as a libero as well. They can play these different roles, so don't be too panicked on, oh, he plays this role. I have to play this role. Absolutely not. Don't worry about that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the filters over the top here. And I'm just going to take away all positions, put goalkeepers, check on ability. And as you can see there, is McNan is actually the best goalkeeper in here. And he's, he's, he's quite some distance as well. I like to sometimes look at the ability, but I don't get too carried away with it when searching for players. But that's a complete different video. But at the minute, Mike McNan is the best goalkeeper. And you can see why he's the best goalkeeper as well. He's a phenomenal goalkeeper as well. You can actually play him on as your sweeper keeper as well if you really wanted to with the attributes that he's got of all around there. Only thing that lacks him is his tendency to rush out and his acceleration. So I would not play him as a sweeper keeper because I don't want him rushing out and being caught behind the ball. And then the players strike again on and just throwing the ball over him or going around him, which will happen because he doesn't have a tendency to rush out. So he's going to be a little bit anticipating of whether to to run forward or not and also his acceleration of speed is not the highest so he might not get there so we are just going to leave him on normal goalkeeper that is the simple way to sort out goalkeepers and go through who is the best one but for me uh mcnan wins this one hands down so we're going to go off goalkeepers we're going off defenders and we're going to go off center offs as well as you can see here we are through ability so it is telling us that tamori and Simon Kajur are our best centre-offs. Now, Tomori is one of our best centre-offs, and the reason why he is is because he's got phenomenal physicals. His strength is brilliant, his pace is brilliant, his jumping reach is all right, and his acceleration is brilliant, whilst the defensive attributes of mentalness are absolutely pinpoint. Whilst he's got 15 tackling, 16 marking, and 15 heading, he is a in the team. He's the one of the first names on the sheet that you want in your team. He's absolutely brilliant. Simon Kajur, on the other hand, is more of your drop-off player you can see that he doesn't have the pace but he does have the jumping reach the strength his mentals are absolutely phenomenal and his technicals for a center off is absolutely brilliant heading marking tackling absolutely brilliant good passing as well i wouldn't use him as a ball playing defender they are saying he's a ball playing defender but with ball playing defenders they drag the ball out and run with the ball i would not use him as a ball playing defender because the acceleration is a little bit down on him and i just don't like that and his first touch is a little bit poor so i would probably use him as just a normal center off we do have some young players as well lurking in the back there you have kalulu there who's a phenomenal one you really want to try and develop him as well a real real strong center off and you could use this guy as a ball playing defender because he's got good dribbling good first touch as well anticipation's good and decisions are very good as well so you could really use if you want to go for the double dlp you can definitely put pierre in there as well we also have two other center offs in there one is loan listed and then you have matteo gabbier as well another good player another one that i wouldn't use pretty much as a ball playing defender i would pretty much stick him as just your normal center off so first thing i'm going to do is going to come over here this is just the setup so far so i'm going to put in Tomori, I'm going to play him as a ball playing defender. He played really well there. Then I'm going to have just a normal centre back there with Sam McGeer. They are our best players. And then also, we're going to come over here into the goalkeeper 
is Minan. So we have our goalkeeper and two center offs locked in instantly there. We know they're our best players. We're going to work around them. I like the ball playing defender because I feel like I can get Samori out of the field. We'll work on that a little bit later on. The left side of the defensive line, I already know who is going to go in there. Uh, it's going to be Theo Hernandez. <laughs> he is one of the best players on the game. He really is. If you need a left back, he is just, he's only 24. He is the best left back that I have ever seen on this game. He is absolutely phenomenal. No one will even come close to him. And what I like about him as well is he, uh, he runs with the ball often and also gets forward when possible. I want that from my wing backs and that is exactly what he's going to be. So we've got him on a wing back and we're going to put him right there. One thing I am going to change though is now that I've got the wing back going forward, I also have the DLP going forward. So they're going to both push up. I'm going to swap this around so that he becomes a central defender. And then Tamori becomes a ball playing defender on this side purely because if he goes forward and he goes forward, they we will have a massive gap behind the left back and the left center off. So now Kajir just mops up the left here as well as there instead of having to cover the all the way across to the left, which will leave him a little bit of space and he doesn't have the greatest of speed. So that could have been an issue there. But that is what we're going to do. We're just going to move it around so that he doesn't have to cover the whole of that left hand side and then leave a gap on the right hand side as well. So there it's a little bit mixed and matched. We're going to have him on attack because I want him to get forward as well. We have two Three good say, left backs as well. Uh, Sergio Nodes, who comes from Barcelona, a very fast player, gets back and forward. He's got good pace, good stamina as well to bring back the ball and push forward. Good crossing and dribbling. So, might be used in the team. Also, we have Caldera as well, another phenomenal player. You could use him as a center off as well if you really wanted to. He has got the attributes for it, just a heading a little bit poor, but he can get the ball forward, he can cross the ball, and he's got great stamina to get back as well. And last but not least is Balotore. Balotore, another phenomenal fast place player as well. Can get the ball in, can whip it in, also has the stamina to get up and down. The fullbacks for this side are absolutely phenomenal, so you can really do some damage with them. Now, as you can see, both can play the other side as well. Pierre Clou is in there who can play right back as well. I don't think I want to play him right back. He's more than capable of playing right back, but I want to utilize him more of a center off than I would as a right back. So I think I'm going to bring in either Dest or Caledra there. It's a tough one to do. But I feel like Calabria is a lot better than Dest there, purely for his defensive duties as well. The 15 here and 14 marking with good pace, good pace as well, and agility, and he can get the ball forward with a cross as well. So we're going to keep Calabria in there as well. We are going to play him as a wing back, but only on support. I'm not going to have him go too far forward like it was with Fernandez. I don't really want to do that with him. I only want him to get the ball and play it out and then win the ball. He pushes up a little bit to help the midfield, but not too far as Hernandez will be all the way up the top there. So I don't want him going too much far forward. Now we come into center midfields and we've got a bunch of center midfields. I know which ones are the best ones, but if we go back over to this page, you can see here... On ability, you can see there that Benacar and also Tonali are our best ones. And as you can see, they're only 24 as well. We do have some very strong players in there as well. We have the fake Pogba, who is in here. A very good player. Only 22. He can develop so much as well. If you ever need a center or a center mid and you're looking at him in other saves, I would highly reckon that Tommaso, he is absolutely fantastic. Highly recommended player. We also have Charles as well, but I would play Charles more in a an attacking role as like like a AM or something like that compared to playing him as a midfielder. Uh, the lack of tackling just puts me off a little bit as a CM. I like my CMs to be able to get in, get dirty and get a ball and win the ball back. So we're not going to be putting Charles there. Adley, another one where I play more attackingly. He can tackle a little bit, but I like to see him more with the creativeness and the creative flair of that 15, first touch and dribbling to get the ball forward and move with it. So for me, the two players that are going to go in is Sandro Tonali and also Ishmael Benacar. Now, the roles that we're going to play these, what do we want them playing? So if we have a look at at them. Tonali is down as a ball winning midfielder. Now, I think he's a little bit better than that for a ball winning midfielder. As you can see, teamwork, work rate, stamina, pace. He's got it kind of all. Anticipation, bravery, likes to get stuck in. He's determined as well. So for me, 
I would like to see him as a box to box. That means he gets forward, which he can do as well. With the passing ability, dribbling and first touch, he can get forward, move with the ball, move around with it, and also getting stuck in with his tackling as well. And then you bring in Benacar, who you look at here and you go, okay, 15 tackling, 15 passing, 15 vision, 15 positioning. So you kind of want a defensive role, but in the same way, using his kind of passing ability to cut them up so we're going to stick him in as a dlp here and what that means is he's going to go i'm going to play one defender as well so he is going to sit back behind the likes of tonali who's going to be pushing forward as well trying to get that ball into the box and trying to get it through finding them deadly passes that just splits the defense and hopefully opens them up as we were talking about the attacking midfielders, and I saw Charles was absolutely phenomenal here. As you can see, he is really amazing flair, good determination as well, good decisions, good first touch, good dribbling, can finish the ball, can pass the ball, and also has a fantastic technique. So we're going to slot him right into that AM position. Now, we have two options here. We could play him as an advanced playmaker as well, so you could have two primary playmakers in this team, but I don't like to cause too much of getting the ball to a certain player or two separate him. He kind of just forcing the ball through to him then. So I'm going to leave him as just a normal AM, and I'm just going to leave him to do what he wants and push forward. He is known as an advanced playmaker. That's his favorite position. But if you have a look at when he plays as a, an attacking midfielder, good agility there. Also, anticipation, composure, decisions, flair, off the ball, vision, technique, passing, long shots, first touch, and dribbling are all highly, highly up there as well. So he's going to help out with the striker as well as these two players that were here, whilst these are going to be holding the positions and making the moves for us. Now, if we go to our left-sided midfield, you can see right there that our best player, well, I'm going to say our best player, is Rafael Liao. Everyone knows this guy. He's absolutely phenomenal. He's one of the most talked about players in Italy as well. He's just unbelievable. He's fast, agility, got good jumping reach, natural fitness, good dribbling as well, heading's good. He is just an all-round absolute worldy of a player. The fact he's only on £29,000 a week is ridiculous because he is just that good. So you could play him as an inverted winger, but I am going to play this guy as an inside forward. And the reason I'm going to play him as an inside forward is I want him an attack as well. I want this guy to get to the back stick. Nine times out of 10, with that 14 jumping reach and being six foot two, he's going to out jump the fullbacks. Fullbacks don't really have the best of jumping reach, unless you're Hernandez, but he only has 12, so he would potentially out jump Hernandez. Calabria also has only nine, so most sense, most fullbacks, he's going to get out jumped by. So we are going to use him as an inside forward, and hopefully the ball is going to be crossed across back stick, and he's going to be there out jumping the fullbacks and not being messed with the center offs because the center offs are going to be hopefully dealing with the forward that's there. On the right-hand side, we have a couple of players in here. We have Brian Diaz on loan. Also, we do have Sally Makers, and I really like Sally Makers. They've got him down playing as a wing, while getting familiar with a wing back, but I like him to get forward. He's got the pace there. He's got the dribbling as well. He can can push back and tackle as well and you can see their teamwork work rate phenomenal so you know he's going to get up and down we're just going to leave him on winger support so he comes and drops back down here as well and helps out with Calabra as well to try and get that ball back it's actually really works really well for us and I'm a big fan that that side is going to be worked you can see that the right side is going to be the working side and the left side is where your goals are going to come from so that's kind of what we're going for at the minute so now we look at our strikers and we have a couple of strikers in there as well. We have Divock Origi. Everyone is sure we know about him from his Liverpool days. We have Ante Rabic as well. Or Rabic, should I say. I know a lot of people moan at me. I always pronounce the IC wrong there. And we have Oliver Giroud. Now, for me, I think Giroud is the player that we go for here. And the reason why I go for Giroud, I just think he suits the team a little bit better than... Oh, I'll tell you what. Rabbit looks good, though. I like Giroud a little bit more. Divock going to be our super sub for sure there. If we can... And if you're struggling, guys, you can also go to this comparison. Compare with players of your team. So I can see here and have a look at who is the better player for me right here. Now, it's looking like Oliver Giroud. Do I want to sacrifice the speed of Rabbit to play him or do I want to play Oliver Drew who is more physical got better vision attacking technical aerial mentally as well and I think the answer is yes on there I do want to play Oliver Drew and we play him as a I do not 
play him as a target forward on attack as well. So we get the ball to Giroud and then players are going to be playing off him. So when we are looking to whip that ball into the box from Sally Makers, he's got two very strong targets there of Oliver Giroud and Raphael Liao. Whilst you also have Charles there. I can't pronounce his last name. If you if you know, if you wonder why I say the first names first, it's because I can't pronounce them and I don't want to look stupid. So Charles will be on the edge of the box waiting for that ball. Also with Tonali as well, pushing on into the box, trying to get the ball. So that is kind of the style of play that we want to go for here. And that team is an absolute fantastic team if you look at it as well. So we've got the formation of the team. How do I want these to play? Well, as you can see, I kind of want them to play down the left-hand side. That is my strongest side. Theo Hernandez, Rafa Liao, phenomenal play. We want them to bring the play down the left-hand side. They are going to be our main threats there because they are our, two of our best players in the whole team, no matter what. So we've got to try and get the ball to them. Now, I like us to play a higher tempo. They all have the passing ability, decisions, and they also have the anticipation to play that higher style of football. And we're going to play a shorter passing because everyone can play shorter passing of football as well. We also know that this team was very good at dribbling. Nearly every single one of the players is phenomenal at dribbling so we are going to run at defenders to try and put a little bit of frightening on them and also i want them up to a little bit of expressiveness with creative freedom because we saw a lot of flair in this side with this team as well so this allows them to run with the ball and also do things that they kind of away from what i'm telling them to do every now and then which allows them to be a little bit more creative with themselves in the tactic and they make some good stuff with that as well when we're on them we want to counter press we want to counter because they have got the stamina for this we check the stamina of the players i want them to play very 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 high pressing football to get the ball back straight off them and allow us to break with the ball i'm going to distribute to the center halves as well and we're going to roll it out to them we already know that we have a ball playing defender with Tamori, so I really want him to run with the ball, get it down and push it out, and then with Minan there, he can just push that ball out and allow us to move that through as well. And then we're going to play as a high line of high press and a high line of standard with high press, and also we're going to prevent the goalkeeper distribution. We're going to get stuck in as well, and that is probably going to be the tactic. And if we have a look at the league, over here let's just have a look at the season review we are predicted to finish third in the league so now that we are predicted to finish third in the league i'm going to go attacking because we seem to be a stronger side in the league which should allow us to push on and get the ball and hopefully create some very strong plays that allows us to break into the last third of the game that is the tactic that is how i build tactics and i'm going to go through a season now and show you the results and hopefully please let me win the league. <laughs> that would be a great start. But if we don't, if we finished higher than third, we've beat the media expectations and also what the board wanted, which would have been challenged for the title. So let's get into a season and see how we get on. We get through the end of the season. As you can see, two points off Napoli. We nearly did it. We nearly won the league first try with the tactic that suited this AC Milan side. And you can see that the tactic worked as well because we managed to score 90 goals in the league, which was the best in the league. And we had 27 goals conceded which was the second best in the league as well our goal difference of 63 was the highest in the league so there's some positives to take there for sure the 127 yellow cards i hold my hands up shouldn't have put get stuck in on that was just a little bit too aggressive there and that could have cost us because players might have actually not gone in for challenges or gone for a little bit more bravery or aggressiveness because they might have got the second yellow card and got sent off so that could have been an issue and we definitely need to change that and get stuck in off take that straight off as you can see though oliver drew has that target forward getting us 42 goals which is quite impressive for his age as well averaging a 7.44 the highest average of our team as well rafa liao one of our stronger players in the league playing as that inside forward on the left getting us 18 assists as well oliver drew and theo hernandez yet again another fantastic player out there with Theo Hernandez getting seven man of the matches. Only problem with Theo Hernandez, he managed two red cards for the whole season. Not too happy about that. As you can see, this is the tactic that we play, guys. It's all out here. And this isn't a plug in and play tactic. Uh, I'm trying to go down a different route now with tactics. I do like to do plug in and plays and let them run. They will still be happening on the channel. But I want to try and create tactics for individual teams because I find this more interesting, more like rewarding and helps you build tactics as well for yourself. So you can see Pat that I've done for example with the wing back and the DL 
the de- the ball playing defender, creating them on the same side would have pushed them up and created gaps. So Kajir there actually stops that and eliminates him. Just little snippets of information that might help you out when you are creating your tactics. So this is definitely not a plug in and play for any other team. This suits AC Milan down and AC Milan players down to a T. And we've got the best out of the whole team pretty much where we can. So the league... Like I say, we finished second, but we did actually manage to win the Italian Cup, which was great stuff as well. We did get knocked out of the last 16 with Bayern Munich, though. So we need to try and create some sort of tactic that works more defensively in the European structure for the next year. It worked really well in the league, but in Europe and in Cups, not really the best there. So definitely something we need to work on with this AC Milan side if we're going to go into next season. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you take, like I say, some snippets of information to making your own tactics. If you've got any teams as well that you want me just to have a play with, like a, a lower league side or anyone that's like struggling in real life, I could try and build a tactic for them that I would play, not replicating someone else's tactic in real life. But guys, thank you very much for joining me on this video. If you want to see more live content, I'm live over at Twitch to so at twitch.tv forward slash tech 147 where you'll see me doing a lower league english save try and take them from the bottom tier all the way up to the premiership but guys you've been absolutely amazing it means the world that you take a bit of part of your day check out my content so guys i'll catch you all next time much love and bye bye